Hey guys, this is a small rig mini map box 3196. This is a new version compared to the lightweight map box that we reviewed earlier this year. And on my left hand side, I have the Tilta mini map box. As you can see, the first thing I want to mention is the size. They are quite similar as you can see. Height wise, they're about the same width. The small rig one, it's a little bit wider. So this time, small rig did it they made a mini map box because the previous version that we talked about, it's quite big for a lot of indie filmmaker or anyone that is using these map box for their photo lenses or some smaller cine lenses. The Tilta one was really popular because it was really, really tiny compared to the small rig lightweight version. But the small rig mini map box is definitely a lot smaller this time. Weight wise, if I compare them, they are about the same. They have a metal mount at the back, the same metal kind of mount at the back. And at the top, you'll see that they both have quarter inch thread mount at the top of the uh, mat box. The Tilta one has a 3 8 and also two Kochu mount compared to the small rig. But the small rig has four quarter 20 and at the bottom of the small rig, which is really cool, they have included a quarter 20 with the airy locking pin. So if you use this to support the mat box, it will not drift or move around. So you can have some sort of swinging mechanism set up for your camera. So you can just swing the mat box out and come back in to mount it onto the lens. On the Tilta one, it has a coat shoe at the bottom, so you can actually have the similar accessory for the Tilta one as well. At the front of the matte boxes, you will see that they both have carbon fiber top flags, and I would say they're pretty similar in terms of thickness, and of course the durability. So if I release the top flag knob, oops, I don't think it's gonna stand that way. Anyway, so this one opens up like this with a knob at the top. Once you set the top flag, you just tighten it back up. Same thing with the Tilta one. One thing I really like about this design is you see that the knob is kind of hitting my top flag when I'm using the top flag to block off any kind of light. The cool thing is you can actually lift up this knob right here and rotate it to any angle you want, so it's not in the way of the top flag. That is really amazing. That's the attention to details that I really like of this matte box. So I'm just gonna close it. At the back, you'll see that they use different type of locking mechanism. The small rig one uses a screw, a thumb screw, to basically attach the adapter ring onto your lens and the small rig one has a thumb screw that goes down like this. They're pretty much the same, I would say for mounting wise. But the small rig one is a little bit easier because this one is kind of sticking out very obviously so you can actually get access to this knob a little bit easier than the tilt one. The tilt one is kind of hiding at the back on the side. So that's something I like about the small rig one. And another major difference between these two that makes a small rig definitely the most all-rounded mini map boxes, they both support rectangular filters up to, not up to, they both support rectangular filter at 4 by 4.65 diameter. So they both support rectangular filters. They are really expensive. As I said before, they are about $200 minimum per filter. So that's something you might need to consider if you are getting these matte boxes because the Delta one only supports a rectangular filter. It does not work with a variable ND filter like the circular one for your photo lenses. I've tried it, it doesn't fit. And also it does not spin when you are using the variable ND filter inside the Tilta map box because the Tilta map box has a really small front so you can't really do anything to adjust if even if you have a variable ND filter that fits in here it doesn't 
really work that way. You can have fixed ND and rectangular ND filters with the Tilta Mini Matte Box. All you need to do is to have the lens mount the filter, the fixed ND filter onto your lens first, and then find an adapter that screws onto your filter with thread, and then you can mount this Matte Box onto your, set uh, your setup, not your system, your setup. But the Mini Matte Box from Small Rig is actually different. Of course, it supports rectangular filters. I'll show you guys how you mount a rectangular filter onto the Mini Matte Box so, uh, soon. Another thing is it supports circular filters. So what happened is the adapter ring, it's actually like this with threads inside the adapter ring. So you can actually mount a filter onto this ring right here. It can be a fixed ND, it can be a variable ND. I'll show you how to do it with my variable ND filter because I have a variable ND filter from Polar Pro. This one is a 82 millimeter version. So what happened is if you want to mount this filter onto the small rig mini mat box, all you need to do is actually literally just screw it on at the front. Oh, that's a back. So the number side is the back that goes to your lens. The front is the one with no writing. So all you need to do is mount the variable ND filter onto the adapter ring of the small rig mini mat box, and you can just pop it in, just like using it without any filter. It's exactly the same thing. You just need to tighten it, and now you have a variable ND filter inside the small rig mini mat box. And the most important thing is you can actually adjust the ND inside the small rig mini mat box, which is amazing. So you can still adjust the variable ND while the ND filter is mounted onto the small rig mini mat box. Now let me show you how I mount this onto my camera. So I'm just gonna put it on the side. What I have here is a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K with a Mikey Mini Cine Lens 25mm with the uh, filter thread of 77mm. Usually what happens is the Mini Matte Box by Small Ray comes with adapter rings. You can find the one that is 77mm and mount it onto the Mikey Lens or whatever lens you're using. And then you can just mount the Matte Box on to the adapter. But one thing is because I have the 82 millimeter Polar Pro ND filter, the uh, variable ND filter. So what I would do, or what I would suggest you to do, usually we have a bigger variable ND filter or a bigger filter for all of the lenses. So you don't have to buy like 10 filter size for 10 different lenses. So what I would suggest you to do is to find a step up ring. These are really cheap. These are like maybe $10 on Amazon and you get like 10 different sizes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the 77 millimeter to 82 millimeter step up ring. So I mount this onto my Mikey Cine lens first to convert it from 77 millimeter to 82 millimeter, which is my Polar Pro variable ND and I just need to take this adapter and my variable ND off the small rig mount. Uh, I did this just to demonstrate how it works with the map box, but do this first before you take this off of the map box because I don't want you guys to drop your ND filter and break it. So this is the adapter going from 82 to 90, five, which is the biggest diameter of this matte box. So the adapter is 82 to 95 millimeter and the filter I'm using it's 82 millimeter. So I can just screw the adapter onto the step up ring, which is attached to my Mikey Cine lens. And now I can use this adapter with the matte box. Once it's in there, I just need to tighten this up. And that's it. I have a setup with 
the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K Mikey Cine Lens with the small rig mini matte box and a variable ND filter inside. This is amazing because you can use circular ND filters or circular polarizer with the small rig mini matte box that the Tilta does not really work with. You can use a fixed one, but this one you can use a variable one so you can still adjust the strength of the ND while you're using this matte box so you don't have to worry about having multiple filters stacking up just to have that ND effect. Talking about stacking up filters, so this is how I would use it because I don't use rectangular filters, at least not yet, because they're really expensive as I said. Talking about stacking filters, let me show you how the rectangular filter works with this mini matte box from Small Rake. It's actually really, really simple. Let me put this camera away first. So with the small rig mini map box, this is different from the Tilta one. The Tilta one I can show you very quickly. You basically just whoops, slide your rectangular filter with nothing, just a filter, just a piece of glass, slide it into this part of the map box. And there is a tiny little pin. I don't know if you can see it. There's a tiny little pin for you to lock the rectangular filter to avoid it from sliding out and breaking the glass because it's just a piece of glass. But the small rig one, it's way better. I'm super happy to see this design. What happened is with the small rig mini map box, there is a filter tray. So here you can see that there is a little, little knob thingy that you can just press and the filter tray will just slide out like this. You see, this is the rectangular filter tray. If you want to keep your system or your setup super lightweight, you can definitely not use this tray and just leave it like this. If you're using circular filters, you can definitely do this. Everything will still work. The flag will close. It's just kind of funny to have a little bit of a gap, but it's fine. You can do this. This is the bare bone kind of setup. Oh, by the way, yes, the top flag, it's also removable. So if you just want to use this for whatever reason, you can use this, but I would say keep the top flag on to protect your camera lens, also to block off and want the light so your image will be higher contrast. So this is the filter tray that slides into the matte box by small rake. One thing cool about this is it's almost the same system as the Tilta one where you slide your rectangular filter in there, but this is a lock. You can see this spring loaded kind of locking mechanism to really lock in your rectangular filter. Now your filter is protected by this bumper thing and you don't have to use your finger or your hand to touch the filter glass to slide it into the matte box. So this is also to avoid fingerprints. It's going to be clean and it's going to protect your rectangular filter, the 4x4.5.65, 4 4 not, not 4.65. I can never remember that name. But you cannot use 4x4 4 4 filter. This is just for the rectangular one. This is made out of plastic, so uh, protection-wise, it's going to be better than nothing, but then I wouldn't still wouldn't try to like toss your filters around because they're like a couple hundred dollars each. So this is really nice. It has a locking mechanism. Once it's locked in, you can just slide this guy back in into the small rig mini matte box. It's kind of hard to do it facing this way. So you slide it in. Like that and you'll hear a click now your rectangular filter is in the matte box. Another super cool thing about this design is you see that there are rails still on the filter tray. That means you can stack filters. You can stack these filter trays. So you can have more than one filter, just slide them in one by one and it will just stack up like this and you can use multiple filters for 
your video. This is amazing. With the Tilta one, they can only take one rectangular filter because of the design. The tray or the rails are built in into the mat box itself, so you cannot stack filters. That's a bummer. Um, I would say the Tilta one, it's definitely good for someone who doesn't have that many filters, who, who's not planning to have multiple filters used at the same time, or someone who needs an extremely compact and small system, then the Tilta one might be a better choice. But I would say at the same price, go with the small rig one because it's not much bigger. Trust me, it's really not that big of a difference now. Back in the days when they had the lightweight map box, the Tilta one, it's much smaller. It's almost like half the size of the lightweight small rig map box. But this mini map box from small rig, it's been redesigned completely and this is amazing. They really listened and they really built this up for indie filmmakers. And I would say it's it can be used for professional use too because the diameter is 95 millimeter up to. So that means you can really mount this onto a lot of lenses. Of course, Cine lenses, they will have bigger diameter, but I would say this will cover most of the sizes. So I really, really like this map box. If I'm buying, like if I don't have any one of these, I will go for the small rig one because of all the features, the extra slide in rectangular filter tray and also being able to use circular filters with this system. Talking about sizes, small rig also sent us, oh, by the way, yes, <laughs> I totally forgot to mention. Yes, small rig did send us the mini mat box and also some extra adapter for review, but we're not paid to say anything besides our own opinions. Everything I just said are basically my own opinions and the way that I would use this mat box. So that's a disclaimer. And also small rig does not get to see this video before it is published. So don't worry about that. So small rig sent us a whole bunch of adapters. What happened is in the box, you will get four adapters. I'm mixing up all the adapters now. So I have this, 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 and of course I had the 77, no, not 77, 82 millimeter to 95 millimeter. That's the one that comes in the box. I would say that one is probably the one that I would use the most because I can use the 82 millimeter variable ND. And inside the box, there's also a 67 to 95, 77 to 95, and 72 millimeter to 95. So those are the ones that comes in the box. By the way, the box is really, really nice as well. So there's a box. And if you want to, you can order more adapter ring just in case if you have smaller lenses. It goes from 52 all the way to, this one is the biggest one, 86 millimeter. I don't have a lens that is 86 millimeter, but you can go all the way down to 52. So you can order these adapter rings. These are extra. They are made out of metal. Same thing with other brands, super solid. And you can mount this, this is a 52. This is super small. But I would say it's completely up to you. You can order these if you want a compact setup or you can go with step up ring. It's completely up to you. Step up ring will make it look like a cone shape sticking out of your lens, but some people, they don't care, they don't mind. So you can go with that route, but these are really high quality ones and also Another thing that I would highly recommend you to order if you use rectangular filters is the filter trays. You can order extra. Inside the box, you get one filter tray. This is what you get. This is the only filter tray you'll get inside this mini mat box box. And you can order more of these extra on the side so you can have more filters stacked together. So, as I said, I'm really, really impressed by this small rig mini map box. They have improved almost all the flaws that I mentioned in my previous video. They fixed everything, still same high quality product. I'm so happy that I can use the circular polarizer or the variable ND with this map box now on my setup. And this is absolutely amazing compared to other brands, let's say Tilta, you are actually paying exactly the same price. 
the time I'm making this video, it's at $99. The Tilta one, you get the matte box, the flag, and also four adapters. They are high quality as well, Tilta. I use them all the time. But at the same time, if you want something that it's gonna last you longer, I would suggest you to get this one because this is gonna last you way longer if you upgrade your filters or if you are switching lenses because this one takes 95 millimeter as the maximum diameter. The Tilta one does not. The Tilta one, I believe it's like 80-ish, nothing as big as the 95 or maximum 90 or 92. So the small rig one will be more future-proof and if I have to choose between them, now I will choose the small rig mini matte box compared to the Tilta one. So that's what I think about the small rig mini matte box 3196, that's the model number. So just to make sure that you order the right one. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one.